I thought I'd make a quick video on how to do passwordless SSH. I'm doing this in order to set up this visualizer for the web file or for the uh, access log file on your Apache web server because it's uh, much nicer to look at than the log files. Helps you see what's happening on the web server and um, get a good idea of who's hitting your server and how often. So the first step is setting up passwordless SSH and I thought I'd create a video on that because when I looked it up it wasn't very easy to figure out. So in order to get into your server you need to have the private key that Amazon sends you. I'm using an Amazon Web Services uh, EC2 instance. And if I start off in my downloads folder, then I can see the key file that I got from Amazon. This key for AWS. And then this is the key file I generated for the new server. So this is the only one we'll use. This key for test. Um, I can display the contents because eventually I'm going to get rid of this key file. This is the private key for the private public key pair that was generated for my Amazon instance. But I can't use this key for the passless SSH. I need to generate my own key. So what I'll do is go to my home directory and then go into my .ssh folder. That folder has been created because I've used the SSH command before. If you haven't, it probably won't be there. And then if I look inside that file folder, you'll see that I've already copied over this key file. And there's a file here for known hosts, which are the hosts that I've previously connected to with SSH. Uh, usually you get prompted to accept the fingerprint for the server you're trying to connect to, but I won't get that because I've already connected to it once before to set this up. So normally to connect to the Amazon instance, use the SSH with the dash I option and then you specify the file and then the user the standard user is ec2 dash dash user at and the IP address for your Amazon instance and then you'll get into that server this is the Amazon server I'm in now so I've already installed Apache on this server but I can't use passwords for this instance so I need to set up password as SSH so what I need to do is run the command so that I can access, um, generate my public and private key pair. And that command is ssh dash key gen. And I don't want to give it a file name, so I just hit enter. I don't want a passphrase. And I hit enter again to confirm no passphrase, and it generates, generates this random art. So now if I look inside the folder, I'll see my private key and the public key. So the idea is that this public key needs to be put on the server such that the matching private key when presented will be on my machine and um, will allow me to log in because the public and private key pair matches. So in order to move this file, I'll use the scp command and I'll use dash i with the prior key because I haven't put the key up on the server yet. And then the file I want to move, which is id underscore rsa dot pub, I want to move the public key to this server with this username. And then I need the colon and where I'm going to place the file. So I'm going to place the file here in slash home slash ec2 dash user. So it copies the public key to the server. So now I'm going to go back and SSH into that server using the previous command I used. And whenever I um, look at the directory, I can see that file. But if I look at the root or look at the path, the present working directory, I'll see that I'm in the home folder. And I need to put this in the .ssh folder. So if you view all files, you can see the .ssh folder. So what I need to do is go into the .ssh folder and look inside this folder and I'll see the authorized keys file. This is the list of keys that the server currently accepts. So I can display this file with the cat command and I can see there's already a key in there. That is the key that matches the key I was given from Amazon to start accessing the server originally. So what I want to do is um, append the contents of my public key that I moved up to the server into this file. So I'll use the cat command to take the contents and then display it. And the file is in my directory above me. 
this id underscore rsa dot pub and I will use two of these um, less than symbols to denote append. If you used one, it would replace, but if you use two, it'll append. And then I want to put that into the authorized keys file. So now, if I display the contents of authorized keys, I'll see both keys. So now I can exit. And when I try to SSH into that same server now as EC2-user, I shouldn't be prompted for a password. And it works. So the next video I set up will be how to set up GLTail to follow the log file and the trick that's needed because the EC2-user may not have access to the log file. So I hope this